This morning, we're starting a new series called Today's Changing Roles, where we take an in-depth look at women who are taking the reins and working in mostly male-dominated fields. This morning, we meet Nancy Lieberman, one of the most celebrated basketball players in history, and now she is about to embark on another milestone, the first woman head coach in the NBA's D-League. On the basketball court, she was called Lady Magic. Nancy Lieberman, a two-time national champion in college, the youngest basketball player to win an Olympic medal, and the first woman to play with men in the U.S. Basketball League. The toughest problem I had playing in the USBL in 86, 87 was if my behind hits the toilet one more time, put the dang seat down. Number 10, the guard, Nancy Lieberman. Still at age 51, Lieberman is a pioneer breaking new ground in the NBA's development league. You're now the first woman to coach an NBA level basketball team. What does that mean to you? It means that I'm doing what I love to do. I've been involved in basketball for 35 years at the highest levels. It just seems like a natural fit for me. Nice, Rush. Nice job, Rush. Do you think when you're out on that court, you're going to have to prove yourself in a way your male counterparts don't. Honestly, I don't think about that because I have to prove myself every day. Lieberman started proving herself at a very early age. As a young girl growing up in Queens, New York, she was a natural athlete, but it was her fearlessness that got her noticed at the legendary Rucker basketball courts. I am not afraid. I have never been afraid from the day that I used to take the A train at 12 years old from Far Rockaway to Harlem and walk into Rucker Park and guys would kind of look at me like, what's the little white kid doing here? And I would look at them like, is your name Rucka? And they'd say, no, well, if your name's not Rucka, it's not your park. It's that confidence and a resume that speaks for itself that made Lieberman an easy choice for team owner Donnie Nelson. Amy, she is the best man for the job. She's, um, she's got the package. I mean, she's a winner. Have you prepared yourself for any players that may come through and say, I'm not playing for her? Well, if they can't play for her, they can't play for me. If you don't want to be here, we don't want you to be here. And that's okay. We will find somebody who wants one of these 10 coveted jobs in the D-League because, again, it's, it's an entree to the next level. The next level is, of course, the NBA, where not only players, but coaches also hope to get called up. I might or might not coach in the NBA. Given the opportunity, I would certainly take a hard look at it. Right now, Lieberman is just grateful to still be involved in the game she's loved practically her whole life. So when you were a little girl playing hoops in New York, could you ever have imagined this? I think that when you're that young, you play because you love something so much. And for me, I came from a one-parent family, and we were poor. And this basketball represented hope and opportunity. Okay, I'm going to come here, and then you slide. As Lieberman prepares for this latest opportunity, both players and former NBA coaches are behind her 100%. She's been successful uh, in coaching uh, women, certainly as a player, I mean, that goes without Go. saying, but Go. she's going to do fine. What are your expectations for her? What kind of coach do you think she's going to be? Undefeated Whoa. and coach of the year. No pressure, Nancy. <laughs> Although expectations are high, Lieberman says hey, she'll be ready. It's going to be historic. It's going to be electric. There's going to be a lot of judgment, but I think within myself and our organization, there'll be a lot of uh, calm because we will have prepared for success and prepared for the moment. And the team has officially been named. It will be called the Texas Legends, and it will be affiliated with the Dallas Mavericks. And Nancy Lieberman's first game will be in November. We'll be rooting her on. Coming up next, a grandma's first grandchild. This baby girl has his grandma to thank for her birth. We'll tell you why, but first, these messages. Aw, oh, it's okay. Want to make a big splash for small clams? Amy Swank, Burlington fashion buyer. Then roll into Burlington for hot summer values. We're a dress store, a men's store, a shoe store, 
an accessory store, and the one stop for your entire family store, where everything is up to 70% less than department store prices every day. Come to Burlington this summer, where it costs a lot less to look fabulous. Burlington Dress Shoe, I mean Coat Factory. Bye, Mama. I love you. Bye. -bye. You love be careful you. on your way home.